Welcome to Berlin, the vibrant capital of Germany. Are you visiting on a tight budget? Don't worry, I'm here to show you how to explore this exciting city while spending next to nothing. I will show you budget-friendly tips for local food, free sites and exhibitions, how to party Berlin style, and more. First off, Berlin is a city rich in history, so there are countless of attractions to see for free. For example, the iconic Brandenburg Gate. Hola. The Brandenburg Gate is Berlin's most visited landmark. Built in the late 18th century, it was a symbol of division during the Cold War and later became a powerful emblem of German reunification. Right next door is the Reichstag, Germany's parliamentary building, a striking blend of historic architecture and modernity, bearing witness to the nation's tumultuous past and its democratic present. You can also go up the Reichstag's dome for free and get a nice view of Berlin. You just have to make sure to book your spot in advance. I need something to eat. I'll show you a way to feel like you're getting the luxury treatment while spending very little using the Too Good To Go app. This sustainability-driven app hooks you up with hotels, restaurants, bakeries, and cafes selling leftover food for cheap, saving you cash and fighting food waste at the same time. I've reserved a breakfast bag from the Grand Hyatt Hotel for four euros. Let's see what they've got for me. Speaking of hotels, they can cost between 50 to 150 euros per night. Berlin also has plenty of hostels from 19 to 30 euros on average. Perfect, thank you so much. Bye. Anyway, let's see what the Grand Hyatt vegetarian breakfast has to offer. Wow, for four euros, this is quite a lot and it looks really good. Fruit, bread, pastries, spreads and dips, and cooked cauliflower. Breakfast in the park. And Berlin has many historic parks to enjoy for free, like the former airport park Tempelhof Feld, which is usually buzzing during summer, or Mauer Park, a former part of the Berlin Wall. In the summertime, aside from its flea market, there is a huge open-air karaoke party on Sundays that's totally free to join. But I'm in the Tiergarten, Berlin's largest and most visited inner city park, offering pretty paths and landmarks scattered throughout. My American friends often complain about the lack of free water in Europe, and it's true, but there is an app that helps you find public water fountains in Germany. With the Trinkwasser app, you can easily refill your water bottle, but I found out that there's a small caveat. It looks so nice, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, okay, so it looks like they're only working from April through October. A walk through Museum Island is a highlight in itself. And of course, a stroll through this UNESCO World Heritage Site is free. The historic buildings are home to five museums. However, they do cost admission. Here's my tip. Check out the Humboldt Forum nearby. The Humboldt Forum is a cultural institution, and you'll actually find some really cool free exhibitions inside. Let's go check it out. The Ethnological Museum is certainly the main attraction, an impressive collection of over 500,000 artifacts and cultural historic objects, many from indigenous communities. I'm exploring the history of the site, from swampland to monastery to the East German Palace of the Republic, and today's Humboldt Forum. I've actually been reading up on the history of this place, so it's actually so cool now to just see everything. The Humboldt Forum's backstory tells us a lot about the history of Berlin as a whole. There are also many other free museums around Berlin, which you can find on the Berlin Museum portal online. Now it's time for a very Berlin lunch. For that, I need to get to a different part of town. To use buses, trams, metros and trains, a single trip ticket starts at 3 euro 50, or you can get a 24 hour ticket for 990. Be sure to validate your ticket to avoid fines. I want to get a currywurst, a classic in Berlin, but this stand I'm about to show you is a little different than the others. The curry and chili stand has a spicy twist. Currywurst is a steamed fried sausage topped with curry ketchup and curry powder. Here, they've got homemade hot sauces from levels one to 10. Hey, yeah. gotta make a decision here, but I think I'd rather stick to the lower end of the spectrum, probably number two. Hello. 
Ähm, einmal Currywurst mit Darm bitte. Und die Stufe 2. Currywurst is a popular street food here and often comes at a low price. Okay, it's spicy, but I definitely played it safe. It's not too bad. If you're more daring than I am, there's even a wall of fame. And for two euro sixty, it's a pretty decent currywurst. A Berlin must is also, of course, checking out the remnants of the Berlin Wall. After the fall of the wall in 1989, this section of it became the East Side Gallery, the longest open-air art gallery in the world, and the longest continuous section of the Berlin Wall still in existence today. But there's more. The East Side Gallery is a great spot to take photos, but if you want to learn more about the Berlin Wall's history, I recommend the Berlin Wall Memorial, which is essentially a free outdoor museum. Climb up the viewing point to see the former death strip from above, the armed no man's land designed to prevent escapes and enforce division. There is also a free indoor documentation center, as well as the outdoor memorials. Another thing that is very Berlin is Turkish food. Every Tuesday and Friday, there's the Turkish market here along the canal and they have lots of Turkish goods for pretty decent prices. Berlin has one of the largest Turkish communities outside of Turkey. Many of them arrived in the 50s, 60s and 70s under the Gastarbeiter or guest worker program. People come here to shop for fresh and cheap produce. 2 euro 50 for a lot of coriander lemons, not bad. And of course, some Turkish goodies that I spent just two euros on. Mm, that's some refreshing tea. So a sesame ring and some Turkish tea. Not a bad snack. We've got one last stop coming up. Berlin's nightlife. I'll see you in the dark. I'm at the Kulturbrauerei in Prinzlauerberg, a historic brewery complex that now has exhibitions and clubs, like the Alte Cantina. Berlin is known for its wild party scene that never sleeps. Since the pandemic, prices have gone up and sometimes you can pay up to like 25 euros entrance. But I found a way to party for a very low price tonight with a little secret. The nightlife really never sleeps. I mean, it's a Monday night and look at this place. So I'm actually looking for their secret password that'll let me in for just two euros. It's hidden somewhere on their Instagram page. Okay, it looks like tonight the password is Harte Wurst, which means hard sausage. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Harte um, Wurst? Harte Wurst, okay. okay. It worked. Alta Cantina's Hungry Mondays party has been around for 20 years with pop, rock, and dance music. There's also indoor table tennis and three euro beers. There are plenty of free, low cost, or donation based events in Berlin in general. This place is cool, and I had a great time exploring Berlin today and keeping my spending to a minimum. So now I think it's time to party. So those were my tips for some low-cost options in Berlin. I personally spent 16 euros in total, and I had breakfast, lunch, snacks, saw some sights, exhibitions, and went dancing and had beer. Do you have any other tips? If you want to see more budget travel tips, subscribe to our channel.